Damien Leroy. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna give you every bit of information I can about my 20 years kite surfing, paragliding, motorcycling, everything. Every bit of knowledge I can share with you guys, I'm gonna share with you. So this video, this topic is gonna to be about what are the best mounts to use kite surfing. Um, everybody captures all these different angles. I've always been drawn to trying to capture something different or different angle or new viewpoint. So I'm going to give you guys a little uh, look at some of the um, items I use to capture some of the shots I get. So um, we all know, obviously I use a GoPro a lot. Um, I think it's the best camera out there. Um, it's waterproof. It's great. Um, they have a lot of mounts. So let's start with the things that I use the most uh, when I normally go for a kite session. I would say the Pro Standard Mouth Mount. This is a no-brainer. Um, you just bite it. You can dip it in water and get it set to your teeth so you can get it absolutely perfect. You can set the angles to exactly what you need uh, to capture that POV shot, riding, doing what you do, and capturing it for people to see. So the Pro, Pro Standard, this is like the go-to all the time whenever you're just wondering what I should take out. Just throw it in your mouth and you got it. Um, I have one without a flotation device, which I wouldn't necessarily recommend. Um, or I would get the GoPro flotation so that if you do drop it, it floats. Um, that's kind of what I'd recommend there. That's one of my go-tos. Uh, the new one that's uh, been just super unique, captures amazing footage, um, is the Normatter. Uh, this is a, uh, a, um, a gimbal, um, but it's also a line mount. So you can get a line mount with a gimbal, and your GoPro attaches just like this. And this goes right onto your lines and uh, captures a view of you doing your sport, loving it. But what's amazing is it captures um, whenever your kite rotates or moves, this rotates, so you'll always have that perfect level shot, no matter if you're looping the kite or doing anything uh, uh, aggressive with the kite, this is gonna stay level because of this Normatter gimbal. Um, it's awesome, uh, I totally recommend it. Um, and then this is the line mount, and you just attach it just like this with your GoPro game on and this is definitely something that captures some of the most unique shots I think uh, in our sport. Um, the next one we all know, I mean a lot of people use this, it's just a normal selfie mount or stick mount. Um, these are empty mounts that I use. This is the extender um, and then obviously you can capture those, those shots uh, you know with your hand. So uh, obviously the selfie sticks it's kind of captures a lot of stuff but you got to be multitasking flying the kite and holding this so you know that's a, a little more advanced. Um, this is my first line mount that I ever used for kiting. This was a great one, works great, nothing wrong with it but I've kind of definitely morphed into the norm matter because of the gimbal and the line mount. Very simple to use, very easy and I absolutely love this thing. Uh, the next mount I use a lot is actually this flymount.com. Thanks to the guys at kiteboarding.com. Um, you guys gave me this one day like super random. And I tried it out, it's super awesome. It goes right onto your, um, your fins on your board. So it actually mount just like this. And you can adjust it to your angles. And you can get a board shot. You can do board offs and capture it. And the GoPro just attaches right to the top of this and it's game on. It's a great mount, super simple. Obviously it's always wet, so you just gotta be careful when you come down hard, you wanna make sure you have a floaty because uh, you know you don't want it breaking off and um, losing it. So um, the next one is a scored mount. This I used to use a lot back in the day for uh, kite shots because this wraps right around the bladder, the leading edge bladder, and then you attach your GoPro to it and you can get shots from the kite. And this actually adjusts as well. So it's like a gimbal, but it's on itself rotating. Um, so it kind of can hang there and rotate as your kite moves as well. But I usually would fix it off and just take one fixed uh, direction shot with the kite. Um, but this is what I use for when I mount it to the kite. Um, this is something everybody laughs at me, but this is what I do all the time. Anytime I travel with my GoPros, I just have like a sock, right? How many times have you scratched your lenses? So just have a sock, 
stick your GoPro in the shock, you're never gonna have any issues. Um, that's something that's like, everybody laughs at me, but I think it's well worth it. Um, those are my main go-to mounts. Now, what's super exciting is GoPro has come out with this GoPro Max, which is a 360 camera. And of course, I was like intrigued to play with it, use it. And um, the future is going 360 in my eyes. I think it will go that way. I mean, I remember when we were shooting with handheld, you know, little VHS uh, cameras. But um, this is my new kind of setup that I've been using a lot. Everybody's been asking me how I'm getting these shots. Um, so I'm using the MT mounts. Uh, these are really solid, um, aluminum strong, uh, Allen key type. So you can make these mounts so it doesn't move. Um, and I mount it to the top of the helmet and then, uh, and you can go different sizes obviously, but this is your GoPro Max. And what this does is it shoots 360. So you literally can capture everything, but in the, in the editing, it'll literally um, cut out this stick so you won't even see this at all. Now, a couple tips and tricks that I do that I'd totally recommend is I run a little line right here. You can see this. I run line right up this and I tie it here and I make sure everything's tied to my helmet just in case if this were to snap off, I have it still attached to me um, because uh, a lot of times you'll land real hard and you know potentially it could pop off. Um, this is a super cool way to capture a lot. Obviously, it takes a little bit more to edit these videos, um, but I would say you know the GoPro Studios is absolutely awesome for this. Um, and this captures so many unique angles and ways, um, whether you want to do it kite surfing, paragliding, motocross, absolutely anything. You stick this on your head, you're going to capture a 360. You can extend it, you can shorten it. Um, but this is a new little trick that I've been using. Uh, people are loving it. Um, I would say it's kind of a, a unique way to capture some amazing footage. And um, yeah, so those are my real go-tos. Um, I always have a case, bunch of extra tools in it just in case, so you never know what's gonna happen. Um, sticky mounts and, um, but that's my go-to for cameras and equipment for kite surfing. I would say, um, you know, you, you can't go wrong with just trying stuff. Every time I go out and have a session, I always have a camera with me. And mainly it's more because I enjoy it. I love sharing my footage with people and I just love kite surfing. So for me, it's pretty easy to go out and have a good time. Um, like and subscribe. Um, I'm hoping to make a lot more of these videos to help you all out. I want to make how to's on everything possible to make your life easier, kite surfing or whatever it may be that I feel like I can uh, maybe, you know, lend a helping hand and, 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 and help you in the future. Um, thank you so much. Feel free to put in the comments uh, if you want, you know, some videos that I can do in the future to help you guys out and have a wonderful day and uh, like and subscribe. Everybody says like and subscribe, so I guess I gotta say like and subscribe. My girl's looking at me right now. She's like, what are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm starting a little video here. <laughs> um, and, um, and I can't say subscribe, which I don't know why. Like and subscribe. <laughs> That's it.